what is up everyone welcome back to another vlog on the zero bros channel i am scorpio zero and i'll be talking to you guys more about the two stroke and four stroke motorcycles so firstly i have owned both of these motorcycles i rode them for about two to three years now so let me just start off with the two stroke motorcycle for me personally i don't think that the two stroke motorcycle is actually quite ideal for everyday riding it's because to start off to, to even start the motorbike most of the two stroke motorcycles don't really come with a e-start and if it does have an e-start function the new model ones it don't really tend to last too long after a few years of riding after keep after you keep using the e-start function you have to actually change the oh, you have to ride so close to me huh you actually have to change the starter motor to actually keep using that function after a while and if it doesn't have an e-start function then it's a horrible kicking session especially in the mornings or cold weather or even if you haven't started the bike for quite some time you would actually spend quite some time kicking the bike and it's a workout i would say to even just starting up your bike to ride it and why do i say either in the starting of the bike is not really too ideal for day-to-day -day use another pointer is actually the refueling part uh, the refueling part of a two-stroke motorcycle is also a hassle as as you need to use like this duty additives to be add on to your petrol some bikes do have the duty pump to mix it mix it together with the petrol on the bike itself and if you don't have a duty pump on your bike or a duty tank duty pump yeah something like that then you actually have to to put the two T additives into the rip, into the fuel tank and then check the bike before you move off the worst hassle i would say about these two T additives is that if you don't have the pump then you have to actually bring like a measuring bottle yes you have actually this measuring bottle if you don't then um, some people would actually use like a, a small bottle just enough for them to gauge some milk bottles and such 50 ml and, and all to roughly gauge how much 2t additives you need to put per liter of petrol for my bike is actually about 5 ml per liter so the fuel tank is about 3 3 liter, 4 liters plus so every time is about just about 20 20 ml of 2t additives to be add on for a top up on fuel on that bike so aside from bringing the 2t bottle all around and the measuring bottle as well and doing chemistry lessons at the petrol stations and also the hassle of kickstarting the bike every morning um, cardio session before riding off aside from these two pointers the inspections right now with the co2 emission restrictions and all that to even bring your bike or two-stroke bike for inspection is a hassle as well as the two-stroke motorcycle emits more white smoke and after some time of riding your exhaust system you actually have to decarbonize them i don't think they actually do this decarbonizing in singapore is quite hard to find now but you have to um, for me i would actually just bring it over to malaysia 
most of the workshops there would would be would love to do your bike uh, decarbonizing and of course uh, charge you a hefty price for it as well so yeah you have to actually decarbonize your exhaust systems for the inspection so the four stroke motorcycle I mean the design of it is meant for day to day use riding and, and such you don't have to bring along to the water bottle most of the four stroke bike has the e-start functions but if you were to talk about performance wise the two stroke engine actually is so much more lighter most of the two stroke bikes are actually very very light compared to a four stroke four stroke um, engine and talking about performance wise i would say if you can actually control the power band of a two-stroke engine then the power of it is actually really good the pickup and such and if you were to talk about different kind of riding not road riding maybe into the off-road categories then the two-stroke motorcycle has an has a upper upper hand on a four stroke motorcycle in terms of if you're riding on the off road terrain then to actually to actually climb a very steep hill and such you would you would actually feel the difference riding a two stroke bike and a four stroke bike the KTM or Husqvarna or any other type of dirt bikes for me I actually ride uh, both two stroke and four stroke on the off-road category of bikes and as much as I love the four stroke engine as it's easier for me to control the bike not so much power band here and there and if you actually haven't tuned your two-stroke engine or rejet it then your power band goes all over the damn place okay it took some time to overtake me there and the two-stroke yes i was speaking the two-stroke engine if you were to tune it and rejet it to a setting which you want to then the power of it is just madness the pickup of it the climbing of um, the steep slopes in off-roading or trail riding is a lot more fun and I guess right now the two-stroke category of bikes are slowly facing out unless you're riding dirt then you still have like the 200 or 300 two-stroke motorcycles and the two-stroke motorcycles or the two-stroke engine of bikes is actually more of fun riding I would say I don't know about road riding so much on a two-stroke bike although back when I just passed my license most people would actually go for a Yamaha RXZ or a Kawasaki KR mostly it's about one 150cc around there and they will start to like big ball mod here mod there and such try to go I don't know speeds of like 200 which isn't really so safe or ideal as all you need is a piston jam you you're riding at like what 2 200 220 and such on a one cylinder two stroke engine is it's just a fine line between life and death I would say all you need is just a piston jam and you're just going flying off in the highway or something like that so I don't know much about uh, two stroke engines on the road but yeah I would say a two stroke bike on the off-road or dirt bikes is a lot more fun lighter a lot more power if you can control it 
which I have been riding it for like two, two close to three years, and I still haven't learned the uh, learn to control the power of a two-stroke bike. But it's a lot, it's a lot fun, I would say. So this is actually a short vlog of me talking about the two-stroke and four-stroke motorcycles. Hopefully, at the end of the video. I will actually give a little teaser or a sneak peek of my two-stroke motorcycle and then you'll get to know the new topics or the different kind of riding which we will be doing me as well as X, X0 we'll be showing you guys a different kind of riding on the Zero Bros channel so, if you like the video, please don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments about my horrible commentary skills, please also drop a comment. So, and don't forget to also follow our Facebook and Instagram page, Zero Bros Motor Vlog. Always remember to ride safe and hopefully the Wuhan, the coronavirus conditions don't go up to code red so everyone can go to work and school peacefully so this is Scorpio Zero signing off peace